Good evening, everybody. In college basketball, Truman State hosted Missouri S&T as the Bulldogs were looking to win their seventh conference game in a row. Truman State and White Mike Carlson is a tough player with a soft touch. Khan would slice and dice his way for two points at the other end. Then it's going to be Reed Mills with transition basketball 101. Zach Ellis would get those two back for the visitors. It was back and forth. Carlson finished with a school record 48 points. Freshman Billy Daniel does some damage inside. Great second half. Truman State trailed by five with 142 to play. They tied it up with one second to go thanks to a Seth Jackson basket, and they won it in overtime, 109-105. In the women's game, Truman State put his 22-game home winning streak on the line against Missouri S&T. Truman State in white. Ellie Norton is like a transmission in your car. She's automatic. Then it's Casey Gassensmith who splits the defenders 4-2. She made it look easy. You know what? Let's say hi to Brad and hello to Allison Weiss. Wow. Great defense by the Bulldogs. The visitors only scored 19 points in the first half. Truman State wins it 80-52. to you know, I thought our kids executed extremely well defensively, executed the game plan, um, knew what, you know, new personnel, which is always important in preparation aspect, and, and did a great job. In girls' high school basketball, Kirksville lost a battle 50-32. Ottumwa came up short against Keokuk 50-46. Kyoto stopped Tri-County 52-28. In boys' action, it was Kyoto 68, Tri-County 35, and Scotland County was a winner over Putnam County, 61-56. to The Crooksville boys are off until next Tuesday when they travel to Boonville. The Tigers have had no problem scoring points, but over the next few days, they will be working to shore up their defense. There's times where we have a little bit of a lack of intensity, and, and part of that is because we don't play real deep, too, so I think some guys are maybe trying to save their legs a little bit. Uh, and we just don't, when you get in this time of the season, you can't do that. Defense is what gets you where you need to go. In college wrestling, it'll be a big night tomorrow night of grappling on the mat. At 7, as Truman State will be home to face Nebraska Kearney, the defending Division II national champs. The Bulldogs have made progress this year. Now they just want to add to that. We've hit a lot of our benchmarks this year. We wanted to accomplish. We wanted to get through the first half of the season 5-0, and and we accomplished that. We wanted to go to the national duels um, and compete well, and, and we did that. I mean, we battled well with the seventh-ranked team in the country, Coonstown. The Atomo wrestlers are getting ready for Friday's conference meet. Right now, the Bulldogs are second in the conference. Four Atomo wrestlers, Mason Carey, Connor Meyer, Alec Clark, and Isaiah Cox are highly seeded. A good showing this weekend will mean a higher seed when the districts roll around in a couple of weeks.